Here is Kramer's rule for solving a system of linear equations. In this video, we'll go through an example of using Kramer's rule on a three by three system. So three equations, three unknowns. I'll leave a link in the description to my lessons introducing Kramer's rule. We're of course more focused on practicing with it today but it's gonna require us to calculate a bunch of determinants. Keep in mind these matrices, A1, A2, et cetera, in these solutions are the matrices that come from taking the coefficient matrix, A, and then replacing the jth column with the column of constants on the right side of the equation. So for A1, for example, we would take the first column of coefficients and replace it by the constants. If that doesn't make sense, have no fear, let's go over it. Here's our system of three equations and three unknowns. We'll begin by finding all the determinants that we need. So starting with the determinant of the coefficient matrix. Here's the coefficient matrix, coefficients of x in column one, coefficients of y in column two, and so on. We'll find its determinant since it's three by three. Probably the quickest way to find the determinant is using the diagonal trick. I'll leave links in the description to my lessons going over various ways to find the determinant, including the diagonal trick, but in this video, we're going to use that handy diagonal trick. This requires us to rewrite the first two columns to the right of the matrix, and then we will add the products along these rightward diagonals. So let's see, 1 times negative 1 times negative 3 is 3, and then negative 4 times 2 times 2 is negative 16 and then one times four times two is positive eight. So we add the products along those rightward diagonals. Now we'll do the same thing along the leftward diagonals, and we're going to subtract the sum of those products. So one negative one, two, that's going to be negative two. One, two, two, that's going to be four, and negative four, four, negative three. That's going to be 48. So notice we're adding up these products, but we're going to subtract it from the sum that we got for the other diagonals. So doing the arithmetic now, we have negative 16 plus eight, which is negative eight, plus three, which is negative five. And then we are subtracting, let's see, four plus 48 is 52, minus two is 50, so negative five minus 50, so the determinant is negative 55. All right, so the determinant of the coefficient matrix is negative 55, that's the first one we need. Now we'll look at A1. A1 is found by taking the first column of the coefficient matrix and replacing it with the constants. So instead of one for two, you see we have the constants, 6, negative 120. Otherwise, it is unchanged. And again, we'll have to calculate the determinant of this matrix. We can do it using the diagonal trick again. So rewrite those first two columns to the right of the matrix, and then we will calculate the sum of the products along the rightward diagonals. 6 times negative 1 times negative 3 is 18. Negative four times two times negative 20 is 160. One times negative one times two is negative two. Now we'll do the same thing along the leftward diagonals and we will be subtracting that. So minus, I'll switch to red. One times negative one times 20 is 20. Then six times two times two is 24. And then negative four times negative one times negative three is negative 12. So let's do the arithmetic here. 18 plus 160 minus two is 176 minus 20 plus 24 minus 12 is 32. And 176 minus 32 is 144. So the determinant of this second matrix, A1, is 144. Two more determinants to go. Here's the matrix A2. Again, this is the coefficient matrix, but with the second column replaced by the constants. So you can see it matches the original coefficient matrix, except in the second column, which has been replaced by the constants. We'll find the determinant using the diagonal trick, so rewrite the first two columns to the right of the matrix, just because that helps us do the calculation. Now calculate the products along these four diagonals. One times negative one times negative three is positive three. Six times two times two is positive 24. And one times four times negative 20 is minus 80. Then we will subtract the products along the leftward diagonals. 
1 times negative 1 times 2 is negative 2. 1 times 2 times negative 20 is negative 40. And 6 times 4 times negative 3 is negative 72. This will be negative 53 minus negative 2 minus 40 is negative 42 minus 72 is negative 114. Negative 53 minus negative 114 is negative 53 plus 114, which is 61. So the determinant of matrix A2 is 61. All right, one more determinant to go before we can start writing the solutions. Again, this is the coefficient matrix, but with the third column now replaced by the constants. We will duplicate the first two columns to the right of the matrix, and use the diagonal trick to find the determinant. 1 times negative 1 times negative 20 is positive 20. Negative 4 times negative 1 times 2 is positive 8. 6 times 4 times 24 is 48. Now we will subtract the products along the leftward diagonals. 6 times negative 1 times 2 is negative 12. 1 times negative 1 times 2 is negative 2. And negative 4 times 4 times negative 20 is positive 320. Doing the arithmetic, this is negative 230. And so that is the final determinant that we need to start solving the system. Remember, Kramer's rule says that the solution to the system will be found by taking the determinant of A1 divided by the determinant of the original coefficient matrix. That's the value for the first variable, x1. The value for the second variable is the second determinant, a2, divided by, again, the determinant of the original coefficient matrix, and so on. We'll have three of these terms, since this is a 3x3 three three system. So for x, we take the determinant of a1, which is 144, and divide by the determinant of the original coefficient matrix, negative 55. So that's negative 144 over 55. The value of y is the determinant of a2, which is 61, divided by the determinant of the original coefficient matrix, so negative 61 over 55. The value for the third variable z is negative 230, the determinant of a3, divided by the determinant of the original coefficient matrix, and we can reduce that fraction to 46 over 11. And so that's the solution to the system. It's Simple, using Kramer's rule, although it's not necessarily easy. It's a lot of work, but that's how you use Kramer's rule to solve a 3x3 three three system of equations. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions, and be sure to check out my linear algebra course and linear algebra exercises playlists in the description. If you find my videos helpful, please consider supporting what I do by joining Wrath of Math as a channel member. You can get early and exclusive access to certain videos, as well as access to my lecture notes at the premium tier or above. Thanks for watching. Uh, uh, I'm the mathematical menace, the machinations of mankind, two calculators at the same time, hand signs and abacus, finger count and calculus, I'm the V to the T, my parameter, the rapidest, happens like this, my lectures, the most prominent, dominant, call me the Morgan, I get the compliments, the union in together like any time that we intersect, cause my opponents know they need